you wasn't getting booked unless Rain was calling you. Because Rain was the one out there hustling, trying to make his 10% or 5%. But mm. back then, we didn't know that booker, like people that book shows get that type of money. We thought we were supposed to get all the money. That's the only reason the world started calling Rain Janky. Really? Because Rain was t putting a booking fee on it because Rain went to Houston and learned that that's what you see, that's how you're supposed to do it. That's business. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I've been knowing Rain since, like, you Ra think, Rain is funny I, as hell, hey, dude. Look, I'm, I'm Has a, he always been like that? I'm finna tell you this. this Bro, y'all, wow. Is that your homeboy? I'm talking about, I'm, 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 I'm Rain, I'm Rain. I've been knowing Rain since he was a rapper. Damn. Rain was a rapper. That's a long time. We know. Ryan was he a tell rapper. Us he told us his story. Know what I'm saying? And he was decent, but he just didn't like his voice. And he thought he was like Pimp C. <laughs> like, 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 like. <laughs> no, listen, man. Rain is something else. He give me some crazy calls. Hey, but I, I'm gonna tell y'all the craziest thing with Rain. And I'm and, and Rain had at least thirty percent to probably even more. I'm just I'm just being modest, super modest to with the growth of the whole Dallas Boogie era. I don't think it would have been a big uh, as big of a Boogie era without Rainwater. Why? Rainwater was the only individual that would get on the road and go to all the colleges and get us booked. Hmm. You can't, you cannot go and ask any local artist that had a boogie song. I'm talking, and I can name them: the the Paper Chasers, uh, um, um, what what was his name? T Wheels and uh his his brother, um, uh, a B Hamp, yeah. the Party Boys, uh, even the it was. Anybody GS that boys. the GS anybody that was local, only, only reason I, I I wouldn't put the GS boys in there because that was already they already, they had, already a had a deal. You know what I'm saying? And be those two already had a deal. Yeah. But anybody else, you wasn't getting booked unless Rain was calling you. Because Rain was the one out there hustling, trying to make his ten percent or five percent. But mm. back then, we didn't know that booker like people that book shows get that type of money. We thought we were supposed to get all the money. That's the only reason the world started calling Rain Janky. Really? Because Rain was t putting a booking fee on it because Rain went to Houston and learned that that's what... You see, that's how you're supposed to do it. That's business. You're right. But in Dallas... But artists didn't know that. We didn't know that. So now when they finding out, dang, Rain charged them 2000 but he only gave us 800 Because, hey, hey, how much you want for a show? Sue man, just give me 1000 I got 800 for you. All right, let's do it. And then if Rain go get two thousand, you wouldn't have made your thousand without Rain. That's right. Mm -hmm. Driving this little Ragley Honda, a O2 green Honda, around <laughs> the world, man. I used to ride man, in that the car. More and more I hear about this Rainwater is something else. Hey, mm -hmm. You know what's so crazy? I sit back and laugh because I really was a witness of it. I seen it firsthand. He a born hustler. He was the only one that literally got on the road. To go to the colleges and get the DJs to play the music, but the first club, uh, like city and college that we took over was Navarro, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a DJ, DJ Little Lex, and at that time it was Definition DJs. DJ Little Lex was the only one that was like doing the high school parties, and he started doing college parties because we got older. That's crazy. So when Lex started doing the clubs, we had Young Black. That was like making all the noise. Just before Paper Chasers and Young Black even made Frankie, Young Black had the buzz and he had the uh, Richmond records behind him. But Lex was their DJ. Rain would go service all the new music, get it hot, because all he had to do was just go go to cert, whatever song was big, get that song, go take it to the DJs, get the song hot. And then at that time, it wasn't no social media. It was just... Picking on the phone and calling something. No. No, was, going. You had to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like set, delivering the CD, you everything had, was mobile. You had to be there. Yeah. So at that time, all the people from the country towns, Tyler, Waco, Mount Pleasant, Mount Vernon, um, Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, you had to drive all, all the way the to way. Dallas, Texas wow. to come to CERT, 2,500 people, or Sunday at uh, Level 5, or Saturday at Club Shay. You had to come and see it, and you would go take it back. Because it wasn't no social media platforms right. for you to hear it. You only had to be the word of mouth. Hey, this is the biggest song out in Dallas. This is the biggest song out of Dallas. And then you got a dude 
that's literally coming down here service. I'm saying I can get these artists. I can uh, do this. That nigga there doing this did his thing, and 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 that's that's what make Rain different. You know, I always ever since I met him, he's a hilarious guy. Dude. Man, he hell. He make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, bro. And, I, I, and the nigga done got good at interviewing this nigga hero. This hey, is a nigga. This nigga is talented. Hey, I'm finna <laughs> take, I'm finna fuck you. Up. Rain can talk for shit. <laughs> so like, all right, the first big, <laughs> this is no cap. The first big show, one of Rain's biggest shows ever. The first big show. Uh, some people in Hawaii called me and they was like, hey, we want to bring all the Dallas people. So I didn't want to do all the conversation because I had a job. I didn't have time to be all on the phone. I, I know Rain, I'll do it. And I was like, Rain, you can't talk to them folks like that, man. This is how y'all talk to you. So I literally had to coach Rain how to talk to these folks. And then we booked we booked the Party Boys. We booked the GS Boys. We booked B-Hemp. We booked uh, Young Black. Me, uh, DJ, uh, uh, Mr. Rogers to to do the whole thing, and we took over the whole Hawaii trip. Damn! And I had rainwater set it all up. That's dope, man. Like I said, I didn't. You telling me things that yeah, I, didn't, it's crazy. I didn't even know. Like it's crazy. The one thing I can say, man, is just it's crazy the fact that the way you know things come full circle, you know, and 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 that's the one thing about work ethic, you know, the dude. He consistently in he in something at all times, man. And I don't think, agree with some of the shit he man, be doing. I, though. I, I, I know you don't, but you can't agree with <laughs> but, everything. But 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 that's hey, that's the a, nigga that, is that's, a marketing genius. Now he, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I sit back, I and I talk to bro all the time. I will be like, bro, you is tripping, bro. Like you tripping, <laughs> like like I don't even some some shit he do. I be like, bro, what the f like? I, I won't even say it on the mic. This nigga I, crazy, man. man. I be like, bro, but at the end of the day, I. I, I don't I, I just don't agree with some of the stuff he do because like like Rain is like a real partner to me like Yeah we on Boss Talk 101